I am so surprised. I still can't believe we got one, more than one character. And we have Jimmy, who, to me, I don't know if you guys already know, she's in the game, paid DLC. We got our first paid DLC characters. And not just one character, we got three characters announced. Q-Neutron, Rocco, and so many other characters to be added into this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I think this game just picked up all over again and it's going to get more people playing the game and uh if you haven't already you can get the character the individual character for five dollars and get the the universe pass or the fighters pass or whatever you want to call it for the price of what twelve dollars to get genie wakeman q neutron and rocco in the all-in-one package so q neutron is coming this summer and then rocco is going to be coming out later this year in the fall so I just want to give you guys a little recap and just do a little bit of discussion and uh, I just wonder what's going to happen when in regards to the the crossplay is going to be coming out later this summer and uh, I wanted to just talk about this particular character I just love the design of how they did this DLC let's go to the training, training. just the, the character model I really liked and once she got revealed she looked good it was amazing they really did a lot of effort. You can tell that they put a lot of effort into this DLC and just the character designs like Hugh Neutron and Rocco, they look good. So, and just, let's just take a look at this, this alternate costume too. This is the costume I knew would probably get added and I could visually see it in this game and here it is. So, um, I just, I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this DLC, what characters you guys want to see next. But I want to just talk about um, crossplay we haven't seen any sort of news about what's the status of the crossplay is that going to be coming out soon is that going to be later on or later late later on in the year we don't know what's going to happen as far as this crossplay feature but something i want to just go as far as a bold prediction with q neutron i'm surprised they picked q neutron over jimmy neutron and i'm sure everybody had the same sort of reaction it's not jimmy neutron it's hugh neutron his dad from the show which is also a good rep and it's going to be so much fun <laughs> just playing as them going against nigel and all the different characters having a battle against everybody on the roster and it's it's safe to say that there's 25 characters now so she's the 23 23rd car character so 24 is going to be the 24th is human try and then the 25th is rocco later on in the year so we basically have 25 characters for this roster and I hope they get really many many more and this first this is the only first universe pack or character pack or pass whichever you want to call it for Nickelodeon All-Star Ball I wonder who's going to be included in the next one this is three characters is it going to be four characters is it going to be five characters three characters again is it going to be a set of three or a trio for a trio pack three character pack for the same price he's trying to get it ready and um Maybe we'll get someone else that's going to drop sometime in the winter. See how they did summer or fall. They never said anything's going to be coming out for the winter for 2022 later on for the holiday season. Who knows what's going to happen with this game. But now I think more people are going to be able to play this. Everyone's getting online and going to be starting to be active because Jimmy Wakeman is in the game. Hugh Neutron is going to be in the game and Rocco. So I think they touched upon three different worlds. I like that. And that's what I wanted. I don't want to see the same characters or characters from the same show get additional people from their roster. See, Ninja Turtles got four characters. I thought it was going to be like a fourth SpongeBob character potentially, or maybe a fourth Avatar character in the mix up. But they can add those characters later. We got what barely one or two villains. We can get some more villains in the near future possibly. But for my little thoughts here. For Hugh Neutron, I think he's going to be one of our first characters to talk. And it had, it had me thinking, now that they added him and they listened to the, the fan base and the feedback and the requests, these are three requested characters. They're going to add even more characters that we want to see from the the polls, I'm thinking. They're going to probably be in the implemented and even more characters that are probably apparently found in the data mine. They're going to be eventually in it. They could be probably, probably some of the characters that are still in the data mine could probably be some of the ones that are coming up next in the second universe pack but 
who knows? But I think Hugh Neutron deserves to have a voice in this game and a voice line. And it'll be amazing to have him be one of the first characters to talk. And just imagine the reactions and just a little bit of a just an idea. They can do a showcase and have Hugh Neutron talking about his his abilities in the in the video for a showcase. Hugh Neutron showcase with his own voice lines and narrating his capabilities. And, and he can say, might be going towards the end. I'm going to be one of the characters to be able to talk in this game and be able to voice line and uh, have reactions during the fights and stuff like that. And he can also give his launch date available now or like a particular date. That'll be awesome and really funny to see. Have Hugh try and give his own release date and talk about and narrate his own moves, his own moveset in the showcase. See so, you know what I'm saying? I think Hugh Neutron is probably going to be the first character to be implemented with voice lines. How cool would that be? And that's, I'm just going to say that as a little prediction. And not saying Rocco can't talk and he doesn't deserve a voice either. They can both be able to talk and be some of the first characters to have voice lines. I thought Jenny would be able to talk when she came out. And that's why I bought her so quick. I didn't even get the DLC season pass. But I'm cool with that. Because they're not coming out till later on in the year anyway. Somewhere in the fall. So hopefully all goes uh, goes well and no no the delays come up with these particular DLCs and whatever else they have planned. But I would love to have some kind of status report on what's happening with crossplay. Is that still in the works? And is that coming out later this year? Is it going to be coming out with Hugh Neutron itself? Because new features came out with some of these characters like Shredder, for example, with Double Dare. And just going back, let's go ahead and do a little recap. They came out with features. That was probably the March update, but that came out. That was in April. And then, see this only look confused about. See, it has an April update. An April update is as if it was supposed to come out around the April, the month of April, but we are in May now. We're in the middle of May. So, I'm not sure what's going to really happen. Because some of these features, see, they came out with different things. He had Shredder came out with the controller remapping options update in February. And then here we are, we got CPU versus CPU. And then we just got bug fixes and different changes across the cast and so much more. Graphical features, it, it just looks good. It looks amazing, just the colors. I really like the designs in this game. But uh, I don't know what you guys think. Maybe he's probably not gonna have a voice, but if they had the, if they, Listen to the f the fans and the supporters of this game to have Hugh Neutron in the in the in the roster is is only going to go well even better and even more funny and hilarious to have him be able to first care be one of the first characters to talk in this game. But maybe they can even get a new mode for us to play and implement from the game because there's not much to really get into. Because I already did the arcade. And then it's even more people that you can probably find online with a slighter, a better chance, a slight increase of players that want to play online. But something that I've been experiencing, it's a major slowdown in frames, a lot of lag, and so much more. So I think this definitely needs another update. So I kind of stay offline, well, stayed away from the online after this, for the second day Jenny Wakeman came out from yesterday, when she dropped on Friday the 13th, I played the online. It even seems like it's a little bit even more problems have a, have been occurring with lag, frame drops, major slowdowns, and just freezing. Because the closer you get to your opponent, whoever you're playing against, it's going to freeze, it's going to slow down, it doesn't matter how good your connection is. Or whoever the host is, it seems to be a lot of issues going on with the online itself. And some of you guys in my chat were talking about some bugs that you guys are experiencing with Jimmy attacking and doing moves on her own. <laughs> I think it's on a Nintendo Switch, I'm not sure, but I'm playing this on PS5, so it's, it just seems to be like the major issue for me is just the online connection and frame drops and stuff like that, but uh, let me know what you guys think about this, did you guys get the universe pass, uh, who do you guys think should be a part of the next pass, some of the characters, and let me know your reactions, Jimmy definitely is the Meta Knight of this game, I get more of a Meta Knight feeling, and just, 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 just look at the stage real quick. So we're not going to do a little map. Let's show both the skins. She only has one skin, too. 
This day is Trey Morton, a joyride just to talk about real quick. It reminds me of Halbert from Super Smash Bros. It's the closest thing. And that's just one of what one of five Kirby stages in Super Smash Bros. It looks just like it. It just divides and just running around it. And then the background changes. It as you get further into the stage, you can see the city and stuff like that. Um it made me think of Final Destination a little bit with the background changes when you're in space and whatnot. But this is definitely the Halbert stage of Nickelodeon. It's amazing. They really did good. And you can see all the little 3D designs, the colors and the graphics. It's just so much fun. And I can't wait to see more stages. So I want this game to grow. I'm going to keep on playing it. And uh, I can't wait to see what else they add into the near future after Rocco. What are they going to do next? And uh, maybe they'll give us some kind of progress update on what's, what's the status of what's going on with the crossplay. Because we definitely still need that feature, even with these three amazing characters that got announced this, this, this weekend. So I'm excited to see. They all deserve a voice. But Hugh Neutron should be one of the most, the funniest character to play in this game. <laughs> I love playing as Nigel too. It's one of my top favorite characters to use in the from the roster for fun. But Hugh Neutron is definitely going to take over the spotlight. And uh, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot of Hugh Neutron mains coming soon once this summer. And there's going to be way more people online when he comes out. 